Welcome back to The Wrap. This is the time that Damon Amendolara usually joins us. DA, obviously not here. He sends his apprentice, Rich Keefe, also uh, from 98.5, the Sports Hub out of Boston. Rich, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, you know, DA, uh, I filled in for him on the show a few times on, on the station, so why not you know, try to do it down here as well? Yeah, he's lazy. We can admit that. Yeah, I mean, he's a long weekend. He's probably still got the turkey hangover. So, yeah, right. we'll, we'll sit in for him. Well, let's, uh, let's dig right in then to the, to the Patriots. Uh, beat up on the Lions after trailing in that game. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're three and zero after uh, twelve days. I think it was three games. Yeah. Uh, the gauntlet that they kind of went through. What does that tell us about this team right now? Uh, resilient. I mean, they come back after one of the worst losses I can remember in a Bill Belichick team. You know, getting blown out by the Cleveland Browns of all teams uh, to bounce back and beat two great teams in the AFC, uh, and then four days off. I mean, they, not even four days because they play the four fifteen game against the Colts. They get one practice in. They got to fly down to Detroit. They play the 12:30 game on Thursday. So I was not surprised by the slow start in that game. They were able to, you know, withstand that, cause some turnovers. Tom Brady was perfect in that game, and uh, they have a huge second half. And now they're they're three. No, they're nine and two, tied for the best record in all of football. After the Browns game, I couldn't have told you they were going to rattle off three straight wins, but they were able to do that, and they're just as good as anybody right now in the NFL. And uh, one of the reasons that they've been good is uh, Bill Belichick, once again, has been able, to, been able to put some pieces in place. One guy that he brought in, Danny Woodhead, the team rewarding him with a contract extension. What has he meant to this team since he's stepped on the field? And, and obviously they appreciate what he's done for them. Yeah, I mean, Danny Woodhead, when they first brought him in, was almost like a punchline when they were saying, <laughs> who's going to replace Kevin Falk? People sort of out of the side of their mouth. Well, maybe this Danny Woodhead will do it. You know, we saw him on Hard Knocks. Maybe he could get mm -hmm. him out there. He's done exactly what they've asked him to do, you know, whether it's make special teams plays, come in as a third down back, line up next to Brady who's in the shotgun. He's catching passes. And he's making great runs, and he's a spark for the team. You notice every time he gets a big run, the offensive linemen are running down there, the receivers are patting him on the head, and, and he's been fun to watch. You know, he's not going to be a feature back. He, he's, he's not the feature back on this team, but he's a great extra piece to have uh, and, and someone that every team going forward has to game plan for. Uh, one guy that they also have the game plan for is, of course, Tom Brady. Uh, he he outdueled Peyton Manning. Yep. Uh, he's been remarkably accurate in the last couple games. Is it time to start putting the MVP watch, putting him at the top of that list? Yeah, I, I think he was sort of always in there just mm -hmm. because, you know, Randy Moss wasn't the same Moss, and then they obviously got rid of him. Welker, he's come on. He obviously had a great game on Thanksgiving, but he's coming off the injury. It was, it was a different team. Uh, the running game, all their top running backs got hurt, and then you know a couple of these guys have emerged. But, yeah, Brady, I think, was always there. His interceptions are low. He's only got four, 23 touchdowns now. I think it's going to be mostly quarterbacks that we're looking at at the end of the year to say who's the MVP. And Brady could be at the top of that list right now. Obviously, Peyton Manning, Phillip Rivers, and even Michael Vick have got to be in the conversation. Well, let's look ahead then to the upcoming week. Uh, just a little bit of hype going into this game, I think. Yeah, I think there's going to be just a little bit of hype. I mean, you start at the beginning with, with Rex Ryan and, and Bill Belichick, and, and last year that rivalry really, really got going, and it's, you know, it's New England versus New York, so it's a rivalry no matter what it is. But now you've got both teams 9-2. and two. They got to break this this tie in the AFC East. Each team with only five games left to go, both eyeing home field advantage throughout the playoffs, which is obviously very important. Patriots are undefeated at Gillette this year. Mm -hmm. they, were, they were last year as well until the playoffs, but they want home field advantage. And if they don't, they could finish with the second best record in the AFC. But if they don't win the division, they're on the road and they don't get a bye. So this it's a huge game on on Monday night. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the Patriots lost the Jets in, in Week 2, 28-14. That was in New York, and, and there, were, there was a, a lot of changes since then. It's two different-looking teams, but this is going to be a lot of fun to watch and, and talk about, really, for the, for the next 9, 10 days here. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of time to talk about it. Do you think Bill Belichick, though, is happy with where he's at? Both teams 9-2. One of those two losses, as you mentioned, was to the Jets, but is he happy to have now have them? in his uh, home building coming up? Oh, I, I think Belichick's always happy when, when the team is playing in Foxborough. But at the mm -hmm. same time, I don't know if he's ever content with his team. He might get excited after some of the wins and, and, say, and compliment his guys. But at the same time, I think he always thinks they can get better. Tom Brady the same way. He mentioned that after the Detroit game, saying, yeah, you know, we played really well in the second half, but still 60 minutes of football hasn't happened yet for this team, which is scary because they're 9-2. and two. And if you look back at all the games, he's probably right. They didn't. I mean, they didn't look good at all in the first quarter, second quarter against Detroit. They were able to put it together. So if this team can get you 60 minutes, 
you know, they, they could be the best team in football. All right. Uh, thanks a lot for filling the big shoes. Yeah, huge the, shoes. Uh, Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. And once again, Rich Keefe of 98.5 The Sports Hub. We'll be back with more rap after this.